Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to write to a file using Python. So what do we mean by write to a file? I mean, we are going to have a text file, a CSV file, or a wide variety of file formats that accepts text. And we're going to write records to it. And what do I mean by a record? So a record is essentially an entity in a database. For an example, if you have a database full of people, a record would represent one person. If you have a shopping cart, a record would represent one item in your shopping cart, to keep things super simple. And we're going to be using the CSV format for comma separated value, where each field of a record is separated by a comma. A field would be a property, like a name, an age, a postcode, so on and a record is made up of multiple fields. For instance, one person could have a name, an age, an ID, a date of birth, and so on. I don't know why you'd store date of birth and age, though, because you can tell the, from the date of birth how old someone is, but you get the picture. And we are using the CSV format to store our data, but we're going to put this in a text file. You can do this with a .csv file, so you can write to a spreadsheet if you want to. I just want to make that really clear. Anyway, let's get right into it. So we have got um, a variable called my record. It's 1234, Jeff, 69. We're going to be using the style of an ID, a name, and an age. And then we've got a function call, which is write to file my record. This is going to be a function we're going to make where it just lets us write a record to a file. So we have got def write to file data. So we're defining our function, it's called write to file, and it's going to take in one parameter which is going to be called data. This is going to be the record we want to add to the file. After that, we have got with open data.txt, comma, a as file to write. So what's going on here? So firstly, um, what we're doing here is we're actually creating an object, an object that's going to write to the file. But we're going to be using the with operator or keyword as. This, this basically does resource and exception management for us. And what I mean is, let's say an error occurs. If we weren't doing exception handling, the program would crash. But because of the with statement, the program won't crash, it will just carry on. And since we are using uh, with as well, it handles resource management. So a common mistake some people make in other file handling tutorials for other languages is they forgot to close the file, which can result in many problems. And then they say in the comments the code doesn't work when in reality some of them actually didn't follow the code. With this though, you actually can't forget to close your file because once this code executes, the file will be closed, making this really quick and convenient. And in fact, if you compare the length of this code to other file writing tutorials for other languages I have on this channel, this is the shortest. So that's what the with statement does. Then we've got open. We're going to be opening a file, so this is going to be the file path. If it doesn't exist, we will be creating one as we are writing to a file. And if you write to a file that doesn't exist, you end up creating the file, then writing to it. So if it doesn't exist, don't worry, because we're writing to the file. Then we've got the A. So what does VA stand for? Well, it stands for append. Append is adding to the file as opposed to overwriting the file. If we put in a W, we're going to be overwriting the file, meaning we'll erase everything in the file first, then write the new data to it. Since we're making a very simple flat file database with this text file, we want to append to the file. If you put R, we're going to read the file, and if you want to read and write to the file, you do R+. Those will be covered in other tutorials. Then we want to do as file to write. Basically, file to write is the name of this object that's going to interact with the file for us. And then inside we can do file to write, which is referenced in this object here. We can do dot write. So we're telling the, the file 
object to write. And then inside the brackets, we can put what do we want to add to the file. And we can do data, which is good. This is the record we want to write to the file. It makes sense to go in here. But why have we got a new line? Well, we want each record to be on its own line, so we can use this to put in a new to put a new line character in the file. So then the next record we write will go on to the next. We'll, we'll start on the next line, and this just allows us to write a record to its own line in the file. If we don't do this, each record is going to be on the same line and it's going to look messy. Some people like this, I don't like this, I'd rather have each record on its own line. So we do the little new line character. And we can put a plus to combine these together to make one string which we write to the file. And that's it for this tutorial, so we're going to hit Control S to save our work and hit play. Nothing happened, which is good. But now you might be wondering, but Max, where does this file go? Well, we're using a relative file path. You can specify the file path you want. But if you're using Visual Studio, right click on your project and go to Open in File Explorer. And the general file path will be your project here. Click on it. And then you'll see your Python source file and your Python project, or your text file will go with them. This will be the same if you're using something else to write your Python code. It will be basically next to your source code. So whatever that is, your text file is most likely there, unless you've got something super weird going on with your system. But you can also specify a file path if you want. So let's click on data. And look. It's Jeff. 69 and 1234. Let's close the file and let's make a new record to add. We're going to do 1235. We're going to call, we're going to spell Jeff with a G O, which is another way of spelling Jeff, uh, like in Coronation Street. Well, he's not in Coronation Street anymore, but he was at one point. And we'll do 56. We'll save our code and hit play. Nothing happened, which is good. Let's go back to where our file is and open it. And it's added Jeff on a new line. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And if you're curious, there is a CSV object for Python. I will be covering that in the future. I just wanted to keep this super simple. Be sure to subscribe if you want more file handling tutorials. And thanks for being a great audience.